<laughs> what is your favorite ride here at Six Flags? Goliath. Disney Colossus. Tatsu. Um, the carousel. Physics, vocabulary, and formulas. Basic information is the length, the height, the drop, and the speed, and the g-force. Kinetic energy. Any object in motion is using kinetic energy. A person walking, a thrown baseball, a crumb falling from a table, and a charged particle in an electric field are all examples of kinetic energy at work. The formula here is the one we will be using to find kinetic energy. The m represents the mass and the v represents the speed of object. Another, another vocabulary word we need, potential energy. It is this energy stored a position possessed by an object. The M in the formula represents the mass, the G represents gravity, and the H represents the height. To find the total mechanical energy, we need kinetic energy plus potential energy, and that will give us the total mechanical energy. The centripetal force. Uniform circular motion can be described as the motion of an object in a circle at a constant speed. As an object moves in a circle, it is constantly changing its direction. Now that we got a brief explanation of what kinetic energy is and potential energy, in this picture you can see that at location A, the roller coaster is all potential energy. And at location E, the roller coaster is all kinetic energy. Therefore, within A and E, one is losing potential energy and gaining kinetic energy. Consider location B to be one fourth of the roller coaster, path downward. It has three fourths potential energy and has one fourth kinetic energy. Consider that location D to be halfway down the ramp, so it has half of potential and half of so, kinetic energy. To find the speed of how fast X2 should be moving, so a person won't fall out of the roller coaster, we will need to find an equation for the noble force that I will show you guys in a minute. Um, the noble force is averted by the track of the roller coaster and it really depends on the centripetal force. The faster the roller coaster goes, the less likely a passenger will fall out of their seat. It also depends on weight force as well. As gravitational forces increases, it is more likely for a person to fall out. So in conclusion, it really depends on the difference between those two forces. And before we begin solving problems, I just wanted to mention that every mathematical expression here um, neglects friction. Now, to solve kinetic energy, we are going to use one half and the length of our coaster is 13 71.6 meters times our velocity which is 37.9984 square meters and that is going to give us 9902118085 and this is our kinetic energy our potential energy it is mass times gravity times height and that is 1371.6 times gravity times the height of our roller coaster and this will give us this number right here and that will be our potential energy remember that to find our total mechanical energy we needed to add Ke plus Pe and that will give us our total mechanical energy. So we are going to add the previous numbers. I'm going to sum these together and we are going to get this number right here. This is our total mechanical energy. What is the velocity at the bottom of the first hill of X2? 
In order to find the velocity at the bottom of the first tail in X2, we need to remember that the total energy at the top is equal to the same as the total energy in the bottom. We are going to be using the formula for kinetic energy plus the formula of potential energy. We're going to equal that to both sides. On to the second step, we need to remember that the masses cancel out because it is the same coaster at the bottom and the top. And right here, we're going to substitute the numbers at each location. And the height at the bottom is zero because it is the lowest point when comparing to the starting height. Once we do the math here, we will get um, this number right here. We'll square root it. And the velocity at the bottom of the first tilt is 168.30 meters per second. Okay, guys, so I hope you guys learned something new today. Thank you for watching.